You will be plummeting from this three box height onto force plate one. Don't be confused by two and three, they're just there for safety reasons. You'll be landing on force plate one, which is going to be measuring how much force you are applying to the force plate, and therefore how much force the force plate is applying to you as it slows your descent. Now, from this particular height, with your given weight, which is going to be hidden, don't worry, um, you're going to have a fixed amount of impulse, which is that force times delta t, force times length of time, that will be stopping you from your fall. Your mission is going to be to spread out that delta t, to spread out that landing as long as possible, thereby minimizing your peak force. If you take a look at our two charts up here, this will be what you'll see in your feedback. On our left, we have a very large peak force of 2.73 times the rest weight. It's all going to be in terms of the, your resting weight there. Uh, so that peak force is rather high, especially when compared to our second peak force of about two times the rest weight. So you want lower peak forces, which as you can see is going to be achieved by spreading out the amount of time over which that collision, which your body hitting the force plate is, takes place. So, in plain English, you want to cushion your fall. All right, so simple demonstration. You're gonna be on the uh, platform here. So again, it'll be a count of three. So on the count of two, we'll start recording. And don't forget that style does matter. <laughs> style, does not matter. just the metrics. All right. I'm just, I'm not gonna do anything the only, the only thing you guys have to worry about is the count of three. Just just make sure that we can start the, uh, the, uh, the timer going. So I'll go one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Science uh, negative results are also important. So. <laughs> it's contestant one. So, what's your name? Ryan. Ryan. All right, Ryan, why don't you step on up? Oh, wait. Literally, wait. We need you to stand on the scale. Calibration. Calibration. All right, so he's on the scale. It'll just be a quick averaging here. It'll be pretty much painless. All right, you're done. All right, so now we can go up. Alright, again, on the count of three. So one, two, three. Woo! Ah, very nice, very nice. Alright, Courtney, on the way up, you got you got your jump in mind? No. No? Alright, so it's just gonna happen all of a sudden. Alright, awesome. Wing it. Alright, remember on the count of three. One, two, three. Third contestant, Geneva, nice to meet you. All right, so stand on the on, on scale number one. All right, she, she's up here. <laughs> Encourage our contestant. All right, we got, we got your weight. We'll be publishing it later in a peer review journal. Sure thing. All right, and then on the count of three, are you ready? I'm so ready. All right, awesome. <laughs> one, two, three. style points will come through. Uh, and contestant three, right neck and neck with contestant one. So let's hear about the uh, qualitative oh, Yeah, uh, qualitative. Feedback. Okay, number one, you had kind of a David Lee Roth kind of thing going on. <laughs> so going for the big moves, I appreciate that very much. Contestant number two, you had kind of a nonchalance that I, it can also be very charming. So excellent choice. <laughs> and contestant number three, you did a really good job of getting the audience on your side before you even did your move, which any smart performer will do. So I'm going to say our high marks all across. Contestant number one, yes, you guys. Oh my. Congratulations. 